What's going on there, uh, folks? On this almost September morning. Right? A couple days. I mean, it's still freaking hot as hell here in Jersey, but I don't know. Football, it's, uh, football season's in the air. Um, the kid's going back to school. It's just, you know, getting ready. So, my long time subscribers may remember I built this probably five, six years ago. Little storage shed or tool shed, you know. I want to say it's, I think, six by six, something like that. I have a few videos going through this pretty much I don't want to say step by step but me building it along the way you have to go back quite a bit but it's there anyway during that you probably remember this little pine tree that my daughter got in first grade for Arbor Day okay she starts high school this year so eight years and it's really only been growing like this probably the past 18 months. You know, 18 months ago, it was still probably, you know, that tall. But over the past 18 months, it's just blossomed. And I don't know what the hell I'm going to do with it because it's probably going to get too big for this spot. But anyway, getting back to this. So I got a, you know, a lot of weeds are growing here. I got, I had one, it's almost like a little bush that started to grow it was kind of like this thing over here you see this long weed I had a couple of these so I'm like, I gotta fix this so I'm gonna put a little concrete slab here should take care of that um, but anyway so you know I just want to talk about batteries all right batteries now this is a rigid four amp hour battery from 2015 all right you can see the <clears throat> number here cs 1535 so the first number is the year and you got the month and i believe the week um but you know when what 2024 this is almost a 10 year old battery all right and I'll tell you, and this is, you know, with the technology that has gone on with these batteries, and I'm sure many of you have had the same experience and maybe issues, but as the technology gets better, the problems get significantly more, All right? This is just a basic battery, you know, it ran your power tool fine, you know, obviously, you just got the 18600 cells in here. Um, nothing fancy. But, you know, very small circuit board with the basics. But, you know, nothing can really go too wrong with this. Unless you drop it, you know, from a high distance or something like that. But, you know, still charges. You know, get good run time on it. I got to blow some of this leaves out of here. I was gonna rake this, but you see the problem is there's all ticks under here. This is where ticks like. They love it under leaves. So I don't really want to catch Lyme disease uh, today. So, um, no. I believe, yeah, look at this, wow. This is what ended up coming in here. Christmas stuff, Halloween stuff. Old lady put freaking beach chairs this has got to get a little it's got to get blown out i'm going to take all this stuff out of here and kind of you know maybe reorganize it organize it and i'm probably just gonna he's if you see through here there's kind of hole you know um you know over time storms now if you do remember i did have some extra styrofoam so I kind of insulated the roof a little bit, but I'm probably going to close this up a little bit only to kind of keep it 
a little bit more um, sealed because um, you know the dust and dirt does fly in here and you know little creatures can kind of find their way and I'm sure they are somewhere on the bottom there so I'm gonna kind of seal everything up maybe I'll even put some uh, water seal sealant on the floor here but not important it's really about the battery but Anyway, you see Mr. <laughs> the old uh, rigid, and I still I still think they make this blower. This is the job site blower. Always a big fan of it. Yeah, there it is. Job site blower. But I use it pretty much out here. Whenever I got a project, I usually come to the back of my yard here. Because I got some pretty good tools in that pack out. And I got some tools in here. I got my rigid, and it's all rigid stuff mostly. I got my rigid seven and a quarter inch miter. But anyway, so this thing has been around the block. I actually even used this in the landscape company a couple times. I used to keep this in my trailer for a little while. Then I said, no, nah, it's just taking up too much room. I would just obviously blow out my trailer with it. I'm like, eh, what the hell am I doing after when I got all these other blowers in here? But yeah, this is from 2015 as well. You can see that model number. It's not zooming in. Let's see. There we go. All right, 15, 2015. And yeah, she still works fine. I mean, she looks like she's been beaten up a little bit, but... She will work. I'm sure of it. <clears throat> yes, sir, man. We got Mr. Milwaukee there. So I gotta cut my bag of concrete. And we got some stuff here. I just wanna get rid of this because of the ticks, you know? And by any means, this is not to show the performance of the job site blower. It's really to show you that, you know, a 10-year-old battery. Now, some of these new batteries, where they got the rigid max, max out or something. The rigid max. Mr. Max, Mr. Mom. I don't know. You know, I get a lot of comments about issues with that battery. Obviously, we know about the 3-amp hour um, you know, with the app, right? The three amp hour and the six amp hour had the app. A lot of people had problems with the, um, the rigid, what the hell was the name of that battery? I always figure it out after the video, but it's that line of tools and they had the battery that was the same. But you guys know what I'm talking about. The, the three amp hour battery specifically, I've had a lot of issues with. I think I had like four of them and only one is still working. Um, it was the only battery. They had a three, a six, and a nine. And only the three had the 21700 cells. And that's really the only battery that I had an issue with. Uh, the six and the nine. And this is very quiet so I could probably talk. But the six and the nine are fine. They still work all the batteries I have from rigid that are the six and the nines. But the three amp hour, hope I'm not covering up the speaker. Because with this phone, I better use this hand. Um, you know, things can happen. You know, it has, a, has an app, it had a lock on it. You know, had the 21700 cells, it had a much bigger circuit board and like I said with that you can run into issues right more than just a basic you know battery from the old days you know I'm sure many of you have the older Milwaukee and DeWalt batteries still you know that work just fine they might have lost a little re regeneration right you might only be getting 90% maybe 80 85% 
of the life it did have, but you know, still working, still working fine. All right, so I want to get rid of Mr. Tick here. And obviously this is not made for leaves. We know about the woodshed. Remember the woodshed? Look, I got all ivy growing on it now. The rain here has just been incredible. It's like a jungle. So that's really it, folks. Um, so just an update on your older batteries, whether it be rigid, Ryobi. Don't balk at them. You know, maybe if you're at a garage sale and they might be kind of getting rid of their, um, you know, their batteries. Maybe their older batteries um, and they're cheap. You know, and I know people actually replace these older batteries. You know, um, the 18600s, you know, obviously the circuit board is much easier to work on, connect. If there's issues with these newer batteries, it's a lot more, it's a lot tougher. And again, I hope I didn't cover the speaker on this phone. But anyway, just a quick little video. I figured, hey, I haven't talked to you guys in a while or done a video kind of like this in a while. But um, yeah, that's it, folks. And if you want, I'll show you the slab when she's done. Enjoy your Monday morning, people.